General Paul Nakasone, commander of U.S. Cyber Command and a six-time WASH 100 awardee, designated the Cyber National Mission Force as a new subordinate unified command of the Department of Defense during a ceremony held Monday at Fort Meade in Maryland. Jay Turner has been named Chief Operating Officer of Sigma Defense Systems, a role in which he will lead operations and business execution of the Sigma Defense portfolio surrounding JADC-2, DevSecOps and C5ISR. The U.S. Agency for International Development and the Railroad Retirement Board have been selected to receive investments through the Technology Modernization Fund so that they may build digital platforms meant to improve customer experiences. Diversity is not just a trendy topic, a box to check or an add-on for companies in today's GovCon landscape. Riverside Research Chief Operations Officer Alka Bavi said diversity actually impacts our national security missions and the capabilities of our country. Watch Alka's full video interview at executivemosaic.com. Space Operations Command has launched an office tasked with improving the procurement and integration of new technologies and capabilities into space operations. Colonel Elliot Lee has assumed leadership of AFWERX, the innovation arm of the Department of the Air Force, during a change of leadership ceremony held at the Air Force Institute of Technology at Wright-Patterson Air Force Base. A two-year pilot program launched in August by the Department of Defense in partnership with the Austin Center for Manufacturing and Innovation in Texas will use private funding to accelerate the development of products with defense and commercial applications. Perpetua Resources, an Idaho-based mining company, has won a $24.8 million award from the Office of the Assistant Secretary for Industrial Base Policy as part of its effort to obtain an American source of critical minerals for missiles and munitions. Join GovCon Wire's Events Space Acquisition Forum on January 18, 2023. Visit govconwire.com slash events. Seven health information technology experts have been appointed to serve on the Health Information Technology Advisory Committee, which offers policy and strategic recommendations to the Government Accountability Office. The Department of Homeland Security has opened the Small Business Innovation Research 23.1 solicitation for seven technology projects.